morning you guys happy Thursday basically I just kind of planned out the rest of my day and I also got a new request for a cat sitting job that would be next week and I have a meet and greet scheduled with that person tomorrow so that's pretty exciting but basically on the agenda today is to finish editing and post a YouTube video that needs to go out today because it is Thursday, which is posting day, as well as go check on Wallace one more time today. And then I want to work on developing my program that I'm going to be launching in the next few months because I really need to get working on that. It's been something I've been kind of putting off because I feel like I'm dealing with so many other changing things in my life that it feels like a lot of effort to work on, but I really want to work on that. We were going to do Instacart today, but I just wasn't feeling feeling it this morning. Honestly, I was feeling really tired and I didn't sleep super well last night, so I just wasn't really in the mood this morning. So I've been realizing lately that I'm not very good at sticking to a schedule that I set for myself. I really thought it was about my routines, that I really liked specific routines and schedules, but it's only that I like keeping my habits and like my bodily routine. So like sleeping around the same time each day puts me in like a much better mood and I feel physically a lot better and like eating at the same time each day. And I don't know, like those types of habits are the ones that make me feel the best. It's not like, oh, I wrote out my plan for the week and then I stuck to it every day. Of course, I feel good when I get things done, but I don't actually like sticking to like a strict schedule that I set way ahead of time because I never know how I'm going to feel the day of until the day comes. But for now, I'm going to get some editing done and then we're going to take a break to eat some lunch. like a deconstructed breakfast sandwich but then I decided to put this peach fruit spread that I got from Trader Joe's on the English muffin at least half of it it's really really good fruit spread highly recommend but I was just watching this clip from this Korean like variety show or something I'm not really sure what the show is but my best friend is living in Korea right now studying abroad and she was like featured on the show but she also has a YouTube channel so if you're interested in life in Korea I will link her channel down below as well as right here for you guys I just put my video to premiere at 2 p.m. It's like 1.55, but I wanted to try out the premiere function because I was thinking of maybe doing those so I can like chat with you guys live while the video is premiering. So let me know if you guys would want to do that. But I am putting on my sneakers right now because I am going to walk over to check on Wallace and hang out with him and cuddle with him for a little bit. So I'm going to get my stuff together and walk on over there because it's already 2 p.m. now. My I just had that dinner. It was a super easy meal that I made with like Trader Joe's frozen items that I just like put all in a pan and whipped together with this Trader Joe's sauce. Found the recipe online. I can link it below if you go to Trader Joe's, but it was super easy and really good. I'm very satisfied with it. But then I ate like a bunch of snack food after because I ate dinner at like four o'clock <laughs> or something. Watched a ton of episodes of Atypical with Oliver and now I am kind of trying to settle everything down for the night. So I went, checked off my daily items for my to-do list. 
I checked off my things for my weekly plan that I'm setting up this week and I am starting to kind of like tidy things up. I want to start trying to tidy up the kitchen every night before bed because a lot of times I just don't put my own dishes in the dishwasher and then like the sink piles up just because I know Oliver hand washes everything but if I would just put my own stuff in the dishwasher at the end of the night then the sink would not get so full so quickly. I did cook dinner but I think I can easily just throw some of the plates and cups and stuff in the dishwasher. Then I'm probably going to give Oliver a haircut because he's been asking me to cut his hair for like way too long and I've been putting it off and I don't love doing it because it's really hard for me to do and I'm not very good at it but it saves money if I do it so I'm gonna try to give him just like a trim of the top part of his hair. Now more than ever we really should be saving money and not getting our hair cut outside of the house if we can help it. So I'm going to cut his hair, clean up dishes, and then make some hot tea and read for the rest of the night. And I'm feeling very tired because I got up at eight. So I'm hoping I can kind of go to bed early tonight and wake up again early tomorrow. So that is the plan. <laughs> guys I'm trying this new tripod I have that's like a clamp tripod so if you're spinning around it's for a reason but it is Saturday and I am running right now to go to a cat sitting job as well as I think I'm gonna do Instacart for a couple of hours so let's see let me drive so yeah, I figured a few of you have asked before like what my day looks like when I'm doing Instacart or working. So I figured I would take you on a weekend. And what's funny now about not working my nine to five, and I'm sure a lot of people who are in like service jobs feel this as well. The weekend is obviously not your weekend. Like it's the nine to five people's weekend. So for a lot of service jobs, that's like your busiest time. So for cat sitting, of course, that's when most people go on trips is on the weekend because they're off. So I have a lot of cat sitting jobs on the weekend, as well as most of the grocery deliveries because people are home. Obviously during the you know period of time we're in where everyone's working from home right now, a lot of people do get their groceries delivered during the weekdays, but I still have seen like a much higher uptick in orders on the weekends. So at the end of the day, the weekends are like my craziest times in terms of the work I could do. I kind of like it that way. I've actually been enjoying being busy on my weekends instead of on the actual like weekdays on my like nine to five time frame. I'm going back to Florida this coming week to visit my family. So I wanted to kind of work as much as I could in the meantime before I leave to like make a little bit of extra cash. Hence why I'm doing Instacart today as well as doing a bunch of cat sitting jobs because I actually have two cat sitting jobs going on right now but today is the last day for one of them so tomorrow i will just have one job but it's one where i have to go twice a day like morning and night i do want to say that i'm starting to go a little bit crazy because everyone here is cat calling more than normal and like i'm getting very over it lately <laughs> i have a lot of patience for cat calling honestly and i don't really care that much for the most part a lot of times i just walk around with my airpods in so that people think i can't hear them because i hate ignoring people like it feels so rude but like I just like don't know how to respond it's been happening like right outside my house like I leave for like a minute to go to the grocery store and pick up like one item and people are like saying stuff to me and I just oh I'm just I'm tired of it guys anyways I will catch you guys in a little bit I'll let you meet little Jim the cutest cat ever that I'm watching and then we'll head over to Costco to do some Instacart shopping
Hey guys, happy Sunday. I completely checked out yesterday after I recorded like that whole intro to the vlog. Basically, I went to go do some Instacart shopping and I was like not getting any good batches at all. And I think it's because it was Saturday and I was looking back and I realized that I'm completely wrong. I thought I usually shopped on the weekends, but I've never shopped on a weekend before. I always shop on a weekday. So I think in reality that for me in, in DC, that I get a lot better batches if I'm shopping on a weekday versus the weekend. So I am actually not even gonna shop today. I was planning on shopping today as well, today Sunday. I didn't even wear the right shoes because I just basically was discouraged after yesterday. The past few days for me have just been pretty rough. I got my period this past week and I've just been like super emotional and like, I don't know, something just like bad happens every day. You know how it's just like one of those weeks where it's like every day there's like something wrong with the day. That's like what's been happening to me lately. And I'm looking at this and actually there's some much better batches today. I don't, all the batches are like over $20. There's even a $50 batch, but it's a three full service order batch in DC. And I don't know, I don't really like doing batches in the city because you have to park and then you have to find parking and most people live in neighborhoods and it can just be a pain to do it in the city. So I like to go to Northern Virginia. Basically I ended up going to Starbucks yesterday to get a drink and they just like, the drink did not taste good and they messed a lot of stuff up with it. And I don't know, everything just like put me in a super weird mood. So just met some time with little Jimmy, who's the sweetest cat ever. This is my second time watching him and I love him. He's so cute. So that made me feel a bit better. And I think I'm just gonna head home because there's a few videos that I've been really wanting to rewatch. I actually watched them a few nights ago and they really inspired me a lot to kind of just get my stuff together and plan out what I wanna do right now and like what I wanna focus focus on and basically just reverse engineer my goals. And I also still need to edit four videos before I leave on Wednesday and today is already Sunday. So I technically only have like today, tomorrow and Tuesday to actually edit. So I'm thinking I might head home and edit as much as I can today and then potentially do Instacart like tomorrow or Tuesday if I have time and I've finished all of my editing. I just don't think today is the day for Instacart for me. I've been super low energy as well because it's like the week of my period and something I'm trying to figure out is like how to balance my energy levels like during my menstrual cycle and just like during my like cycle as a whole. Every cycle there's like different periods of your cycle where you have like more energy and less energy and I'm trying to more take advantage of that than I used to and this is just a low energy time so it makes more sense for me to stay home and do computer work and just do my little cat visit. I don't know, I think that's what I'm gonna do for now and I will update you guys when I get back home. I'm headed to Kim's house tonight to watch is it called Outer Banks is that that show on Netflix right now but anyways point is we're going to watch that together and I'm really looking forward to it because it's just been a weird few days and I feel like I just need to like get out of the house and spend some time with some friends so hanging out with Kim will be really nice I probably should have been catching up with you guys the past few days because I've honestly been in a really crap mood I've cried a lot and I think that that's kind of the whole point of why I want to vlog for you guys and like show you guys what it's really like to quit your job and to try to do something else because it's not always just great and happy and easy. There's times where it really, really sucks and lately has just been one of those times for me. Um, and I think a big part of it is that my hormones and like I was talking about before my period came and like that has just been making me extra emotional but at the same time I think a large part of it really is just what's going on in my life lately and I'm about to go home and see my family and I don't know it's just hard to feel like you're really not doing much because society makes it feel like doing what I'm currently doing is doing nothing or I'm being lazy but 
I'm working very hard and doing a lot to get to where I want to be just as much as honestly I feel like I've been trying harder now than I ever tried in college at least with my classes like what I tried on in college was any side hustles I was working on or even just my job that I did like part-time in college I spent more time doing that than I ever spent on my actual schoolwork I scraped by through college as much as I possibly could because I had no passion for what I was doing I just was so dead set on doing engineering like I don't know probably many this before but like I switched engineering majors three times basically it's just annoying that the current lifestyle I'm in feels unnatural because of the way everyone reacts to it and people just think it's chill and calm and like I'm not really doing much but in reality I feel like I'm doing more and I feel more stressed than I ever felt while I was in college full-time and working part-time which is just funny you know what I mean but honestly in my opinion I think the fact that it feels that uncomfortable just shows that I'm doing the right thing like the uncomfortable things usually are the right things a lot of times when we feel a ton of resistance it's because what we're doing is part of our greater purpose and what we're really supposed to do. But this is also a reminder that when you aren't doing something like college or a full-time job, it's easy to feel like you need to work all the time, even though it feels less exhausting. Like I feel less burnt out than I did at my nine to five job, but I definitely spend more time and like don't take as much time to rest and relax than I did when I was working my nine to five job. So just a reminder that sometimes you need to take time for yourself and hang out with some friends, do whatever is relaxing and fun for you. It's so easy to forget to do things that are just genuinely entertaining. And when I was in my job, I honestly didn't enjoy entertaining things because I was so stressed that I couldn't focus on even like a movie or a show. I can actually do that and truly enjoy it now and feel like it's entertaining, but sometimes it's easy to forget to do that. So this is your reminder to do that thing that you've been meaning to do, do the fun things, and just don't be so hard on yourself, okay? If you're doing something that is not with the grain, you're doing something against the grain, and you feel like people in your life are discouraging you or don't understand, just know that there's people out there who do. I 100% understand what you're going through right now. If you're debating leaving a job and people in your life are telling you it's a bad idea and you should just stick with it, just know that, again, there's people out there like me who are experiencing a similar thing as you. And one other thing to mention, and I feel like this one was really hard for me because I'm a person who, when it comes to opinions of others, I care a lot about other people's opinions and I take people's opinions very seriously when they're people that I care about so like my close family my best friends I really care about their opinions and I take them to heart because I trust them and I know that they know me well right but at the end of the day that is a good tool in terms of blocking out the outside noise and not caring so much what people think of you that you don't care about yourself so like people that aren't your family they aren't your close friends they don't know you well like people online or even people at work or whatever people who don't really truly care about you as a person don't even bother with their advice and don't even listen to their opinions because you should never listen to someone's opinion that you don't trust or you don't feel like knows you personally but the hard thing that I've had to realize is that's just step one step Step two is when you have people's opinions you know and trust, they're people that care about you, you care about them, but just because you care about each other, it doesn't mean that their advice is sound or good for what you're trying to decide to do. So there's gonna be people in your life, especially when you're debating leaving a job or making a big change in your life, that are gonna disagree with it because it's different than what you've been doing and they might not understand. So just remember that just because people close to you are telling you to not do what you think you need to do, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it, okay? It doesn't work with that. You know the advice where people say like, oh, if your close family and friends like don't like your significant other, like that's a bad sign, this does not apply. And also, by the way, I totally disagree with that advice, but that's for another day. But this does not apply in any way whatsoever. Like making a decision about your career or your life path, you cannot equate that to like someone who's close to you telling you whether or not you should be with a person. You aren't blinded by anything there except passion and stress. And honestly, those are two great things to motivate you. If you're passionate about some other path in your life and you're stressed from the current one you're in and a negative way and it's influencing you in a bad way that's a perfect reason for you to get the heck 
break out of whatever you're doing and do that other thing that you're passionate about. But I am going to log off because when I'm driving and talking to you guys, I can't use the AC because you guys won't be able to hear me. And it is super hot right now. It's like 86 degrees outside for some reason. That is all I have. I'm gonna go hang out with Kim. We're gonna order some and pizza, which is our tradition. Usually I bike over to Kim's house using my bike share membership and then I bike home, but I didn't wanna bike there, bike home, and then have to get in the car and drive to do the cat sitting job. So I'm currently praying that I can find parking at her house, which honestly, I'll be surprised if I can find parking. So pray for me as well. my slump so that is very <laughs> exciting and I'm very happy about it because that was a long slump. I feel like it was like a five-day slump and I haven't had a slump that bad since I left my job so I don't know it kind of sucked but I'm out of it now. I knew there would be an end to it and the end is here but I think where I last left you guys I was heading over to Kim's house to kind of have a little girls night with her which was super nice and much needed and honestly I think that really helped me get out of my slump was just having a night to myself with a friend and doing things I enjoy for just fun and no other reason. I think something that gets easily lost when you're in a slump or you're stressed out is the difference between like doing something mindless and doing something actually entertaining. So like scrolling on my phone, even watching YouTube videos, honestly, like isn't truly entertainment for me. There's like a few creators that I find super entertaining or that like I would consider entertainment that I watch. But even then, like it's just not the same as like, you know, sitting with someone and watching a show together that you're both like super invested in. I had a really nice, entertainingly fun night with Kim and I'm happy that I got to do that. Then I spent the rest of the day getting a lot of stuff done. I posted a YouTube video, which you guys seem to really like. It was the you're allowed to want to love your job video and you guys have been responding really well to it. So I'm super happy about that. I also got my Facebook group up finally. I am super excited about that. If you haven't joined the Facebook group already, make sure to look in the description or I might have pinned a comment down below with the information and like the link to join the group. My plan is to kind of kick off the group in early October in terms of content and interacting with you guys with like posts and polls and accountability challenges and stuff like that. So if you are in any place in your life where you're looking for a change and you just want a little extra push from a group of people who are trying to do the same, then definitely join the group. Or if you just want to connect with people in the community and connect with me more, join the group too. So yeah, the YouTube video re went really well. Super excited about the Facebook group. And then I also got some materials together to onboard a client that I'm going to be coaching next month. And I'm super excited to be coaching again because I took a bit of a pause from coaching between the period where like I quit my job and now. One of my last coaching sessions I did was actually during my last week of my nine to five job. And then I just took a pause and like didn't do any more coaching after that because I felt like I needed some time to myself to just decompress and kind of heal from everything. And yeah, I was excited to get back into it and I had someone on the wait list. So I'm gonna be kicking off that next month as well. If you are interested in doing one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, the program I currently have going on is a personalized program where I give you a specified list of onboarding questions and you fill those out and then I create a four-week roadmap for you that we can work through together. There's exercises and then we chat one-on-one -on -one together once a week. So if you're potentially interested in that, definitely DM me over on Instagram. But if you're not ready for that yet, I do have a program coming in November. So stay tuned for that. If you want to stay updated, on all things that I'm creating, then make sure to follow me on Instagram if you don't already, as well as join my newsletter. I have a link in my description box to join my newsletter where I will be providing updates through email as well. But anyways, that is all I have for you guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe if you haven't already, but leave me a comment down below and let me know if anything in this resonated with you, if you've ever felt any of these things before. I know I said a lot of different feelings 
feelings in this video, but slump is a slump, right? It definitely helps me to be able to just like talk it out and chat with you guys. So make sure to join the Facebook group if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.